Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're gonna focus on the Bitcoin price and also on the DXY. If you're interested in my own opinion what is going on right now with this uh, BitMEX uh, FUD that is going on then watch the yesterday's live stream from uh, Twitch. It's also popping up at the end of this video, the video here on YouTube, the replay so you can watch it. It's like 40 minutes if you want. But today we're going to focus only on the Bitcoin price and the price action that we're having right now because today is Friday, the last day where all the CMEs are trading. So very important day and very important to watch all the where the CMEs are going to close today because weekend we have play time when the price is going crazy. That's why it's very important to keep an eye also today where the CMEs are going to close. But right now we can focus here on the spot market and also compared to the DXY. So yesterday we had this uh, fall here from $10,900 down to this uh, $10,380 bottom that we have at the moment. And I say bottom because it looks like that we could have here at least for the short term a possible bounce to the upside and a possible retest again of this $10,700 to $10,600 resistance that we in theory have right now. Because previously it acted as a support and right now it could be acting as a resistance. And I'm waiting here for this possible breather to the upside because here in the one hour as you can see we have a bullish divergence, we have a higher low in the RSI and a lower low in the price. So in theory we should see now a push to the upside at least towards this 10,570, potentially even towards $10,700, towards the 20 and 200 moving average in the one hour. I don't have a buy signal right now in my own indicator but I'm waiting here to open up a, maybe a little position here on a buy bit with some Bitcoin. I have already some longs with a little bit of tether open right now just in case that we are seeing this breather right now but I'm waiting here for my own indicator to hit a buy signal in order to go long here because we still have some room left to the downside also based on the RSI but I think very very soon we're gonna have here a buy signal and we should see a possible push here towards our new uh, resistance and if we have a look here into the Bollinger Band in the one hour you can see that we're trading in the lower end and also the bottom is right here $10,400 so it is very likely that from this area here we're gonna see a possible bounce towards the midline here for around $10,550 in the best case towards here $10,700 the top of the Bollinger Band. The problem is only that everything is shifted to the downside right now, Stochastic, MACD and KSD. So as long as here we are not seeing a bullish cross, I think we will see continuation to the downside. But as soon as here we are shifting bullish, I am expecting here a breather to the upside. And if we have a look into the DXY, here you can see that we have exactly the opposite. It looks like that here we are getting rejected at least for the short term here at the 200 moving average at $94. And we could see here continuation to the downside. Also Ori size right at the 50 level. And I got also a sell signal here in the one hour time frame. So I'm expecting here continuation to the downside potentially towards 93.30 in the DXY and this could lead into a possible push to the upside in the Bitcoin price. And now let's open up the 4 hour in the Bitcoin price because currently we are trading below all the moving averages and you can see they are all together here at $10,700. So this price level is very very critical right now. If we are able to push higher here than $10,700 and start to consolidate again above then I think we should be good to go. And this was just a little sell off because of the BitMEX FUD that we had yesterday. But since I still think we will reach this potential sub 10k levels, I think this could be really the beginning of a major correction down to those levels. But of course on the way down to this 9k area, we also have some pullbacks to the upside of course. And that's why I'm thinking if here we are getting also a buy signal in the 4 hour time frame, we could see a possible retest of the 20 or 200 moving average up here at $10,700 at the moment of recording. RSI is coming down to oversold condition. Also in my own indicator we still have a lot of room left to the downside and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band 
we are trading currently right at the bottom and we are even overshooting it to the downside so it is very likely that we're gonna come back into the Bollinger Band and retest here the midline of around $10,700 before we have continuation to the downside so in case that you want to open up a short position because you think that it will go down then maybe wait here for this little breather that could happen in the next couple of hours we have MACD and KSD shifted to the downside right now so that's why I'm thinking if we're coming up to test these levels we will probably get rejected there and continue the downwards movement here unless we're gonna have here bullish crosses in the MACD and KSD and also start to consolidate here in the upper area of the Bollinger Band so above 10,700 which in my opinion at the moment it's not very likely stochastic is completely oversold right now so also here i'm expecting a possible bounce to the upside so watch out for the next couple of hours what will happen and if we have a look into the dxy in the four hour also here you can see that currently we are getting still rejected from the 20 moving average and the rsi is coming here very close to the 50 level so here i'm expecting maybe one more last leg down towards the 200 moving average here at around 9320 before maybe we're able to break here the 20 moving average and start to head higher here towards our main resistance of 9450 this is my expectation here for the dxy in the next couple of hours but as you know it is Friday so today is the last day of trading for the DXY on the weekend DXY is not trading so everything is kind of on a break and that's why this possible leg down or rise up towards the resistance can also happen next week since we are not trading tomorrow and on Sunday and now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up also the daily time frame because currently we are dropping below the 20 daily moving average and as you know by now my target is still here to test the 200 daily moving average here on the spot market currently at $9,400 but here on the CMEs it's lower it's down here at $9,200 which also would close here the CME gap that we have at $9,600 and if we have a major sell-off towards this direction my target is this one over here on the CME to at least test the 200 daily moving average on the CME chart and then see also where on the spot market we are because if the 200 daily will not hold then the next target would be way lower towards the 200 weekly moving average which currently I think it's somewhere at around uh, uh, $6,800 here on the spot market and of course this would be very very dangerous for the Bitcoin price if you're reaching those levels down here at around $7,000 but of course would also coincide with our 0.618 fib line right here at $7,200 so this price level is still possible and even if we drop down to these levels we will maintain our bullish formation here in the macro picture because we will still create higher lows and higher highs and that's why even if we would drop down here to the 0.618 fib line at $7,200 we will remain still very bullish for the bigger picture but now let's go back to the daily chart and uh, we can also see that the RSI is dropping below the 50 and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band we are also trading now in the lower end and you, as you can see the bottom is right here at 10,270 so I still think it is very likely that we will see continuation down to these levels before maybe even we're going to see a breather we have all the stochastic shifted to the downside and all the KSD and MACD are having a bearish cross if today we're going to close below $10,700. So you see that this price level $10,700 is going to be very key also for today's close and also for the weekly close. And if we go over into the DXY in the daily time frame, you can see that currently we are bouncing perfectly here from the 20 daily moving average here at 9370 and if we are able here to keep up the support and also break this resistance here at 9460 I'm pretty confident that we will go up here to test the 200 daily moving average and that of course would lead into a big crash in the stock market and also in the Bitcoin price and now let's switch over into the weekly in the Bitcoin price because currently we are trading still above the 20 weekly moving average which is bullish so as long as we're closing this weekly candle above $10,200 we are good to go to the upside but of course we could still see a week below here maybe even towards the 50 weekly moving average here at $9,000 and this is what I still believe maybe not today but potentially even next week we could see such a possible short lift drop below the 20 weekly moving average but 
as long as we are closing the, the weekly candles above the 20 weekly everything is good to go to the upside also RSI is still above the 50 level and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band also here we are still squeezing between these two moving averages here so between 10,220 and 11,120 and as long as we are not seeing any kind of weekly close below or above these two moving averages I would say that we are still chopping around here between these two price levels and we still have to wait for a clear close of one of these weekly candles above or below these important price levels. MACD and KSD are flattening out here so here we are also waiting for a possible bullish or bearish cross which could lead into a major sell-off towards the bottom here of around $8,200 or if we have a close above then we're gonna attack again this 12k and possibly also go way higher stochastic is oversold currently we can stay in this region for a very long time before we're going to see a bounce to the upside but it's already good that we cooled off here the stochastic and also the rsi so if we're going to have bullish momentum kicking in again and push higher than 12k we will have a lot of room left to the upside and that's why in the bigger picture we are still looking very very bullish so if you see the price dropping lower than ten thousand dollar take it as a buy opportunity don't go and sell off everything because if you're able to buy at 9k perfectly if you're able to buy at 7k even better because for the bigger picture for the long term if you think one or two years ahead you will be doing very very fine if you caught an entry below 10 Okay. And with that said guys I'm going to wrap it up for now. Don't forget that if you want to trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage down below here in the video description you find all the exchanges that I recommend you. If you are still trading on BitMEX then make sure to take everything you have there away and put it for example on Bybit or Femex. Those exchanges I recommend you much more than BitMEX and also if you use my sign up links to register there you will get some sign up bonus and you can also for example have different trades open on different exchanges that of course is very useful and if you want to try out this unique feature that Prime XPT has where you can follow the other traders for example you can follow here number one this is currently the most profitable trader out there you can just click here on follow and you can put in whatever amount you want to trade and it will follow automatically this trader so like this you can also gain some passive money if you follow here the right trader of course and this is a unique feature that only prime xpt has so if you're interested and you want to try it out then sign up with the link that you find down below here in the video description then top up the account with some bitcoin and then just click here on follow very very easy and straight away and without kyc nothing Thank you very much for watching, please moon up the like, subscribe to the channel and follow me also over on Discord and Twitch, you find all the links down below here in the video description. So thank you very much my friends for your support and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye! <laughs>